Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather on this uh, Tuesday. I want to take you up to the Pacific Northwest because this is the big story. It's going to be a big rain on snow event at times as this strong atmospheric river continues to move in a ton of moisture and also warm air. Now, right now, the freezing level, and that's really the key, the rain snow line, is somewhere between four and 5,000, but it could go up. This is Crystal Mountain. Seeing some snow right now, but for a lot of the time, it has been rain across the mountain, across the entire mountain. But seeing some snow right now with just a little bit of cooler air fluctuating, fluctuating in during the nighttime hours, but it is likely to go back to all rain across the mountain. Wait till you see my freezing level forecast for that area. All right, here's radar across the west. So green is going to be rain, and that is what we're seeing. A lot of rain at lower elevations. Again, this is a strong atmospheric river setup. Some snow up at the, uh, the higher elevations. The trajectory of this atmospheric river takes it right into central to northern Idaho, northwest Montana, and also seeing some precip at times up here into interior BC. So that's the flow right now. I want to show you a water vapor satellite imagery, kind of give you the big view, and it is a fire hose of moisture. Whites, blues, greens, look at that trajectory of atmospheric river moisture moving in. So it brings in the warmer air. I think we're just lucky right now that the air temps are just a touch cooler because they are all going to shoot up. They're all going to get much warmer. In fact, here are my bullet points. So here's what I'm seeing. A strong atmospheric river set up in the Pacific Northwest in BC with a lot of warmth and the issue is the rain snow line. It is gonna be a rain on snow event with some flooding in uh, locations. We've seen this historically happen with these, uh, these atmospheric river events. So at Crystal, I actually had to move up um, some of these to higher elevations, these rain snow lines. It could be 8,000 feet, which is the entire mountain, which means it'll be all rain at times. Obviously it isn't now, but it will be in the future again. 8,000 feet or higher on that rain snow line. Revelstoke, 4,500, 1,350 meters at times. Rain snow line at Whitefish, I move that up. That could be 8,500 feet at times, amazing. So rain below that, possibly snow above that level. Jackson Hole moved it up to 9,000 feet. Brundage, Idaho, 9,000. So with rain snow lines this high in the forecast, I had to chop down and reduce my snow forecast in some cases by like 90, 95% as a result of it being mainly rain and too warm. Here are your best odds of snow. In Colorado, we'll get a little flux of moisture coming in late tonight and then tomorrow morning. Central to Northern Mountains. Tahoe, it is a big waiting game. Utah, seriously long waiting game. It could be 12, 16 before we see anything significant. Now in Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, and interior BC, you're in the flow, you're in the atmospheric river. The problem is it's just going to be too warm. And so again, I had to reduce a lot of the snow levels in there. Let me show you the forecast radar. So um, we'll start this up at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time today on Tuesday. There's your trajectory of atmospheric river moisture. Um, let me slide this into the future so you can see how this, uh, this plays out. All right, so there's 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, all right, let's move through the night. Here we are 5 a.m. on Wednesday, uh, December 10th, and there's that little bit of snow that hits and wind that hits the central and northern mountains of Colorado. You've got heavy precip up here to the north, um, uh, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana. Look at the yellows busting out there. That's a higher reflectivity, so in more intense moisture with this AR, uh, this river. All right, let's go to uh, 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time Wednesday. Um, here's 5 p.m. Wednesday, Mountain Standard. And let's see, here's 11 a.m. on Thursday, Mountain Standard Time. All the precips up in the Northern Rockies. There's 5 p.m. Mountain Standard. And let's go to the, yeah, this is 8 a.m. on Friday, December 12th, Mountain Standard Time. Still looking at uh, just heavy batches of precip rolling through the Northern Rockies with uh, seriously warm air. Okay, let me show you just a quick time height forecast for Colorado. This is Berthoud Pass along the I-70 corridor as you head into Winter Park. So this is the time height. You're looking at a slice of the vertical atmosphere. Um, so this is the current time, and you move in this direction into the future for about three days. The green is going to be a higher humidity or moisture. And look at this, this sort of northwest wind flow. You can see it with the tilting of that uh, surface and those wind barbs coming right out of the northwest. But it drops moisture late today through tomorrow. 
That's when we could see one, two, three, four inches of snow across the I-70 corridor north, especially on the Continental Divide. Those front range high peaks, Bertha Pass, Loveland, Winter Park, Keystone, up to Longs Peak, Rocky Mountain National, and certainly up to Cameron Pass, and also the Steamboat area. That's when I think we could see some snow and wind. Then it dries out immediately um, after tomorrow. All right, let's look at the, uh, the anomalies, the pressure anomalies up here. So this is uh, up at about 18,000 feet in the atmosphere. This is on Wednesday, 1210. So the issue with the, with the current setup is you've got this high pressure with a lot of warm air. The battle zone is right here on the northern side of it where you've got this atmospheric river coming in. So you've got all this warm air, but you've got copious amounts of moisture and a big drop in pressures right here. And that's where you're going to have the cold air. It's all out to the east. All right, let's drop into uh, 1215. Um, so this is Monday, 1215. It, unfortunately, I, I just hate seeing this across the West. Big high pressure, higher than normal pressures. It is going to be warm. And if there's going to be moisture, it's going to be across the Northern Rockies. And a big drop in pressures across the, uh, the Northeast with cold air and likely snow and lake effect. And here's the uh, real extended forecast. So this is 1218. Unfortunately, still looking at the hot colors here with high pressure and the moisture track is gonna be up here. Same spot, Pacific Northwest BC, Northern Rockies, and that's gonna be the place. And it looks like a bunch of clippers there rolling through the Great Lakes. So let's look at total precip. No, you know what? This really paints the picture. I showed you this yesterday. Talking about the criticality of the rain snow line, the freezing level. So this is up, this is effective, a, a, a sort of a slice through the atmosphere, a, a profile view of the Pacific Northwest. You've got the higher terrain represented by that. Now this is the key. This is your freezing level, the zero degree uh, Celsius line. That's your rain snow line. Look how high this rain snow line is uh, in relation to the topography. It's way up there. It's mid-mountain and higher. And again, it precludes Crystal Mountain at times for the entire mountain. It's, it's too warm to snow. And look at all this moisture. That's the, uh, the water vapor flux with those brighter colors coming in. So a lot of moisture. It's just unfortunately going to be dry. All right, let's look at total precip here across the Pacific Northwest as if everything fell as rain. Uh, some of these magentas are going to be 10 inches up here on the scale, 10 inches of liquid coming down. There's your trajectory, so you've got over an inch of liquid in the Tetons. Looks like potentially three or four inches of liquid with rain on snow in parts of the interior northern Rockies, and then there's that 10 inch amount up there in the northern Rockies in the Pacific Northwest. Now, as uh, look at a 10 to 1 snow ratio here, there's your, uh, so the deep purple's over six, bright pink is at least 12, and then the, these whites that come out over the very highest terrain, that's going to be potentially a couple of feet. But keep in mind, these high rain snow lines, it is the efficiency of the atmosphere to generate snow is going to be at a minimum. So here's my snow forecast, official by the close of business on 1214. So the storm track is very obvious here. There it is. Everything is sort of on this line and north. That's where the jet's running. And I really had to chop down these numbers in the Pacific Northwest. So we'll start there. I've got nothing because it's too warm with rain. Bachelor, Timberline, essentially crystal maybe three inches. Even, even Stevens at times may be just mainly rain. You might get 10 during the colder periods. Baker, 12 at the very highest of elevations and two feet at Whistler Blackcomb higher on the mountain. Um, really good snow here through interior BC at the highest of elevations. Look at Revelstoke. You've been doing really well with new snow every single night for the last few days. Um, the numbers in Idaho, unfortunately, at the ski areas in the northwest Montana, I really had to shave them down because of the uh, just the warm air. I shaved down the Tetons quite a bit as well, and a pretty sharp shave there for Big Sky and Bridger Bowl. Some of the northwest uh, flow will dump maybe one, two, three, four inches of snow into the central north, northern mountains of Colorado, and just look how dry it is across a lot of uh, California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico for the next five, six, seven, eight days, unfortunately. All right, into the Northeast, we've got at least three clippers coming through and a lot of snow coming off of Lake Michigan, Erie, and Ontario. And look at these colors. Again, that, that's a six to 12, six to 14 inch swath for most of the, uh, the Northeast and the ski areas. In fact, here are my numbers through 12, 14, and there it is, six to potentially 14 inches of snow at most of the major ski areas there in the northeast. Jay's up there at 12. You've got 13 coming off the lake at Snow Ridge, 12 at Mount Snow, 14 on Mount Washington. All right, guys, we're going to end on the big western map here. 
Uh, just a really, really tricky period, an unfortunate period. I mean, we want the moisture. It's just going to be too darn warm in many areas. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Appreciate it. Take care. Have a great day.